Yes. And Jorge Game Bread Masvidal. here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Game Bread. Boxing fundamentals, certainly not an issue for this guy. Very tough. He's as sound as they come, right? A lot of times you see a guy that comes from a street fighting background, and they wing everything. They try to knock everyone out with every strike. Masvidal does not do that. He takes his time, finds and picks his spot. That plays getting the finishes that he gets now. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Gabriel. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Just over three minutes to go. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to ring. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Game Red Mosfido. Misses with the left hook. Right hand upstairs. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Good jab. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Nice punch by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. With 90 seconds to go in round one. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, that is a killer jab there for Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Big picture, might be the best boxer on this roster. I mean, he may just be the best boxer on this roster. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Big punch. Oh! Oh, he might be out. He was hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh! Ooh, blocks the shot. Big knee lands there. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, that kick is good by Jorge Game Bread Masvidal. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. And just like that, here we go with round two. Nate Diaz versus Jorge Masvidal. Masvidal's strike attempt there is blocked. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. The right hook to the body. And now Masvidal's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. 59 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. And landing with 43% accuracy tonight against Jorge Masvidal. And both guys really throwing with authority. Slips. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents, and this looks like the start of that. 
James Red gets caught with that punch, he'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Of his body. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his... Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Masvidal gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. in that round, but he is in. You ready to fight? Ready. Third and final round. How about that shin? And he landed the right hand there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Masvidal's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish. Oh, man, that was slick. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and he chokes. 
puts him to sleep with the arm triangle. Again, pick your poison on the ground with this guy. All that pressure on the side of your neck. I don't know the artery, John. I'm pretty sure you might. You get all that pressure on that artery, and it pushes you to sleep. What is it? I think it's the carotid artery, and a lot of fighters say they've got a pretty good feel for it. He certainly did that. That's why you got to have friends that are like encyclopedias. John Ennix, my encyclopedia. My guy. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. 